Hi, this is Dr. Ankur from ESBICM and today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is recirculation in dialysis catheter in ICU. So by ICU we mean acute settings and in, and in acute settings you do a dialysis through a double lumen catheter, hemodialysis catheter which is usually placed in the internal jugular vein or the femoral veins or the subclavian veins. Now this double lumen dialysis catheter has two ports, one is the red port and one is the blue port. Now which port we need to use for which? So always remember, whenever you are feeding a reference point, like in the body, your cell is the reference point. So the oxygenated blood is coming towards the cell. It, it doesn't mean oxygenated or deoxygenated, but it is feeding the cell. So it is represented in red and the vessels which are draining the reference point like the veins they are represented in the blue they are carrying the deoxygenated blood so in dialysis process your dialysis machine is the reference point so blood from the body towards the dialysis machine is uh, done through the red port then it gets filtered and from the reference point that is your dialysis machine it is directed towards the body through the blue port now for dialysis to happen properly you need a certain amount of flow which needs to be there so that the blood gets filtered with that pressure. So suppose a clinical scenario happens in your ICU that dialysis is going on in a patient and suddenly the technician or the staff comes and say sir the flow in the red port is not enough for proper dialysis but the flow in the blue one is fair enough. So can we switch the ports that is now we will take the blood from the blue port through to the dialysis machine and then push back through the red port towards the body. So will that make certain changes? Is this equal to the previous one? Blood flow from the red port towards the machine and returning through the blue port? We are going to see this. So now here is your dialysis catheter. You can see this is the red port. This is the arterial lumen means blood we are taking from the body towards the dialysis machine. Then here it gets filtered and then it comes back to the return port means the blue port. Now there is a small difference very important small difference in these two ports opening. You can see here this the red port opens proximally and the blue port opens distally. So imagine this catheter is in your vessel and the red port sucks the blood. So red port the blood gets sucks from here it goes through a dialysis machine gets filtered comes out comes out not from here but from distally uh, through this blood uh, lumen now let's see what will happen if we switch the ports so the, this is the normal phenomena and this is when we switch the ports. so let's understand this now in the vein the blood is flowing in this direction and your this catheter is also placed in this direction that is vein is draining to, to the heart and your catheter is also placed in this direction now this blood is going here and the proximal port was the arterial port means the red port which from which we need to take blood so the blood this is normal condition so your uh, blood is coming here and now it gets sucks towards the dialysis machine then here it gets filtered and it comes back to this uh, port which is the blue port and opens distally here so deoxygenated blood or un, uh, you say uh, uh, the blood carrying impurities go from here and comes back here distally. Now we switch the situation or we switch the ports. Now we will take the blood from this uh, distal port towards the machine filters and push back through this uh, proximal port. What will happen here now you see. So this is your flow this is a venous flow direction you take the blood here it gets towards uh, the machine then gets filtered and it comes back to this uh, proximal port now this is the pure blood which is carrying less impurities from the machine filtered blood it comes here and now it again gets sucked into the your uh, distal port so impure blood and the blood which is coming from your fresh port uh, this is the proximal port gets mixed here and now this partially cl uh, uh, cleared blood will go here and then will come in this direction it will it creates a loop which is called recirculation 
so now you can see that when you switch the ports what will happen your pure blood from the dialysis machine will also get mixed with the impure blood in the vein and then that will go through the dialysis filter so your blood will not get filtered up to that efficacy which it needs to be done in that particular dialysis machine so the efficacy of your dialysis will get decreased it will not clear up the uh, um, impurities as it should be so what will you say to your staff that you can switch the port obviously if, if the situation is acute you can switch the ports and do a dialysis but the dialysis efficacy will reduce for that particular cycle as soon as your dialysis is over you try to change the catheter or try to flush that port so that it gets function properly or if you it doesn't get function properly change the site and put a different dialysis catheter otherwise you will not achieve your targets which needs to be uh, achieved for that patient so this is recirculation in dialysis catheter in icu so we have one more announcement many of you were asking that uh, whether we can start a platform where you can ask the questions unrelated to the topic we have posted your daily queries you are working in icus it's for all the nurses and the doctors which are working in the icu even for any healthcare professional so we have started one telegram group where you can join freely and you can ask your queries on in, on that platform we'll uh, we um, happy to reply to them also you can join the forums on the website of esb icm where you can ask your question it will help other users also to view and um, take them as a reference and obviously in the comment section you can ask the question related to this topic so see you in the next week in next video till then stay safe keep learning keep reading thank you